Yeah. And so yeah. What, I'd like to, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like to actually do a demo of Jasper AI, starting with simple prompts and some okay. of the built-in prompts, and then you can show us the mega prompt templates that they offer. Okay. So let's go back over to chat GPT real quick. Um, and we are going to take this thank you note, this checklist, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to Jasper and I'm going to do the content summarizer. So I'm going to paste it in here. We have these tone of voice, friendly, we'll do sassy. <laughs> and then it's going to give me three outputs. So it's just going to do bullet points of the content here. And Jasper takes a little bit to think about things. There was a question about your voice. And if you could get closer to, um, to what your voice is. And with Jasper, if you have a business account, they will help you tone, like tune your voice. And so that everything you're pushing out from Jasper, creating in Jasper has your voice in it. Um, so it took this longer piece, it's 1700 characters, and it turned it into these little um, bullet points, like shorter bullet points. And something this is good, like if you have a big blog post or a big document, you put it in here, and then it pulls out the, the pieces. So you can go from small to large amounts of content or large amounts of content down to small amounts of content. Um, some other tools that I'm and the, and the reason she picked three is she has three different versions to now choose from and you can kind of like piece them together you might like one of the yeah. summaries from one versus another so one of the nice things about jasper is it gives you multiple versions of the response whereas chat GPT, it just gives you one and then you have to prompt it for another yeah and with this one so i can set it down here from three i think i can go up to 10 or so different um results and then I also have a history, which is fantastic. So I can look back in my history. And so if you think about this as working in a team, this is a really good tool. So people can see the history of the things that have come out and they might just slightly revise. So it helps to keep that institutional knowledge for your company. Um, and people can come in here and see what you've already done. Um, we did a video sales letter yesterday. Um, we did this mini video sales letter to write a script for 60 to 90 seconds. And this gets to be a more complex prompt. So it asks for my name, company name, who's your ideal buyer audience, key benefits and features. This is what we mean by a complex prompt. So current pain points, what's a true or negative scary fact, big idea, number of customers for social proof. Anyways, it asks me a lot of questions. This is another good thing about Jasper is it asks a lot of questions so then the outputs can be more robust. So then I get these different ones. I, I did six. I asked it to produce six different video sales letter scripts. And then we took these, we pasted it into a Google Doc, and then we picked kind of the best pieces from each one but it made making a video sales letter. So then actually we are doing three video sales letters and we got enough content from this to do the scripts for three different video sales letters. And just and, for those who don't know, a video sales letter is one of the most cutting edge effective ways to advertise is you create basically a, a video of you kind of reciting this script as the owner or spokesman for a company and then you post it on YouTube and you advertise against it. And it's, especially when you're in a consulting kind of setting, a video sales letter is the single most effective way to acquire new customers. So um, uh, Nicole's gonna show her video newsletter and we'll have to, you can play the, the whole newsletter, but we'll have to wrap up here shortly. Yeah, this is really quick. And this, I didn't, you can take your video sales letter script and put it in here. Um, and this is 35 seconds. This isn't the video sales thing. We were just playing with it yesterday, um, but it gives you images. It'll pull from, you could stick a blog post in here and make a video from it, um, but you can put your content in here. 
This is great. Which uh, software did you use to build this? It looks a lot like Lumen 5. It's Pictory, and I'm going to share a link with, um, I'm going to share a link in the chat that has a doc that has the link for Jasper and for Pictory in it. Perfect. Um, and if you come back next week, uh, you'll get all the links plus, plus, plus uh, as a thank you for coming back. Yeah. And I'll just show you quickly, like more complex prompts. You can actually create what they call recipes. You could create a recipe for something that you do in your business. that's a more complex process. Um, and I'll show you the hero's journey recipe. So Darby wrote this and you can write your own recipes. So the, here's the basically the prompt or the example for it. This is the prompt. And this is a hero's journey one. We actually use this for story brand and creating a brand script. And so yeah. let, me, let me just unpack that real quick. So the hero's journey was a concept pioneered by this guy, Joseph Campbell. I studied him in grad school when I got my MFA. And the hero's journey is this kind of uh, mythical journey that every hero from Star Wars to Homer uh, would walk their heroes through. And um, basically, this prompt uh, walks you through how to build a hero's journey narrative for your company or for your client. And Story Brand is a book by a guy named Donald Miller, who created the process that this is now uh, executing and making simple for you to do. So it, I, I got to tell you, it, you know, the brand story that Donald Miller created, which was a brilliant kind of innovation this makes it unlocks it you know i spent seven thousand dollars last year hiring a copywriter to build a brand story for my new website so this is if i had known this existed i might have saved that money <laughs> well and it's not perfect like the outputs are not perfect and you would still want to have a guide so for anybody who's a story brand expert this can expedite their process but they're still going to ask you the questions you just might not know the answers that's where the expert comes in, is in helping you get the right answers to put into the prompt. Because when a company comes to us for marketing, a lot of times they can't add, answer the questions that we ask and that we need to input. So what's your unique value proposition? Who exactly is your customer? You know, Can you describe them? That's what we help as a marketing company. We help people figure out so that we can prompt it better. And that's where there is still need for a driver in these situations who can see the road, who understands, who has their license. And um, it is, we were talking about what's the best use of AI. And it's like, it is in your area of expertise. Jeff might do code with it. My husband does code with it. He does, you know, a variety of things that way, but I don't know code. So that's not the best use of AI for me. I know marketing and I know story brand. And so that's the best use of it. Um, anyway, so my context in this is really in messaging and marketing and getting the word out there. And that's that's the stuff that I know. So um, anyways, I that is a complex prompt. The, <laughs> the story brand one goes on for like four pages. Oh, you're on mute. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nicole. That was phenomenal. Um, guys, uh, show your appreciation for Nicole in the chat. If you found that useful, that's her superpower, man. She is so good at this. So you cannot wait to see what she has uh, coming up in future sessions, especially when it comes to uh, marketing strategy and SEO.